Welcome back to the Green Yard. It's a beautiful uh, morning, weekday morning here in the Green Yard. And uh, I'm here today with one of what I consider to be the easiest trees to grow here in the Green Yard. This is uh, my mystery fig. I bought it from uh, the nursery where I get my trees and it didn't have a label on it. So uh, it's kind of a mystery fig. That's how they were selling it. But uh, I believe it is a brown turkey fig just based on uh, the ripe figs and what they look like. Um, heavy, heavy producer. I get uh, two harvests off of this a year. I just finished one harvest. And then you can see here, uh, there's a whole bunch of brand new figs coming out, baby figs everywhere. Uh, I actually still have some on the other side that are ripening. Uh, definitely one of the easiest trees to grow here in the Phoenix area. It is deciduous, so it does lose its leaves in the winter, but it comes back and it has this really great look to it. Um, definitely adds something to the green yard. This is one of my oldest trees. I actually bought this right after uh, my bananas at our old house, put it in the ground. And when we moved, I was able to take it out of the ground, put it in a grow bag and actually transfer it here to the green yard. Um, it did fantastic with that move and it's probably growing six feet in the last two years. A really, really great tree. Um, I actually don't water it, but every two weeks when we get flood irrigation, um, it's heavily mulched as you can see, uh, but I kind of just kind of let it, let it do its thing, uh, just with my citrus. So a lot of people try to shape it into one trunk and, and everything else, but, um, figs aren't grafted or at least this one's not grafted. So I don't have to worry about, um, you know, like the rootstock coming out or anything like that, it is gonna grow true to to the roots. So um, I just kind of let it have its multi-trunk and grow and be beautiful and it is, it is huge. You can actually see all the way up here at the very tippy top, there's a bunch of figs that are, are ripening as well. So uh, really, really amazing trees. So let's talk about kind of my maintenance on it, what I do for it, uh, and here we go. heavily mulched um, it I've found that with these fig trees uh, while they can do okay in in a grassy area they do really really like that heavy heavy mulch as well that organic material you can see here that this is one of those big big trunks uh, from the original tree but I do have all these offshoots coming out from the base here's an offshoot uh, there's another one right here as well and like I mentioned before, I just kind of let them do their thing. They grow true to true to the roots, so there's no real harm or foul in letting them uh, grow from the roots and create these new uh, kind of like beautiful uh, trees here. Because this is that 
that one here that grew out. It already has figs on it, doing very well. Uh, here's some of those small figs that you can see all over the tree. There's a whole bunch of them around. Uh, and then we have the ones all the way up at the top too here. Uh, lots of really big figs. So uh, figs do like a lower pH soil. So I do add sulfur in here. I do also fertilize it. You know, you gotta feed your trees just like humans. They need that food uh, in order to thrive and survive. And then um, I do also do fish emulsion with this guy a lot too. So what I do is I take the recommended amount of the fish emulsion, I mix it in a bucket, and then I just pour it around here at the roots to uh, to kind of give it that extra nutrient. So I do that uh, once a month and I found great success with, you know, these fig trees growing and, and being really successful. This one's about uh, 10 feet wide now, eight feet wide or so. Um, just to the left is our Jamaican cherry, and just to the right is that newly planted ice cream bean tree, uh, which I will be doing a planting video on as well here shortly. All right, so um, that's kind of it for growing that uh, brown turkey fig here in Phoenix, Arizona. I actually found a almost ripe uh, turkey fig, so this is uh, kind of that color that they get there. The inside is usually a little bit more on the pink side. This one, like I said, it's almost ripe. I'm gonna let it sit out probably for uh a couple hours today and then i'm gonna eat it they ripen very quickly once you pick them but they do have a very very sweet uh flavor to them really 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 good fig and like i said before incredibly easy to grow here uh in the phoenix area i actually i would say i had probably two to three hundred figs already they just finished ripening here in uh the Kind of the end of july was our main harvest and then um, as you can see on here too like i mentioned before i have a whole new set of figs coming in whole new crop that's going to be ready to harvest probably in like october maybe november so i'm going to get maybe five or 600 uh, figs off of this tree this year so a very heavy producer if you like figs very easy to grow it takes full sun needs no cold protection no sun protection except in that first year and if you heavily mulch like i do it's uh it's pretty pretty easy to grow and uh i don't have to water it but once every two weeks when it gets that deep water so as always live green plant lots and of course have fun we'll see you next time